You see, contrary to popular opinion, Israelites are not YouTube activists. We out here in these streets. Sarnetta can tell you that. You can't find a corner in Harlem that Israelites haven't been on. But I could, t I could go throughout Harlem right now and tell you that Polite haven't been on any of those corners. I mean, for real, I know y'all see it. I mean, take a look at this fool. Take, it. take a good look at him. I don't know what, 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 uh, what rock you crawled out from under. I don't know who you are. But uh, I see your whole profile early. And I'm calling it like I see it. You're another scam artist. I don't know, he might be another one of the, well, I'm pretty sure. I can't say I'm pretty sure because I don't know the dude, but a lot of these guys that you see are just uh, Freemason or CIA implants. They're just out there to cause confusion. And you strike me as one of them individuals, okay? One of those individuals because what he's doing is trying to push that doctrine that you need to be outside standing in the streets you can't be a true believer of God you're not real unless you you're out there in the streets cuz see I'm watching this video and uh, I noticed a few things first off greetings Shalom was good to all you brothers and sisters out there I'm Isaac with another scriptural slashing on false prophets and false doctrines. And today's slashing victim is Zion Lex. Okay, brother Zion Lex. I don't, I mean, again, I don't know, I don't know where he came from, but uh, he's another one, another false prophet pushing that lie that you have to be out there in the streets. And it's not biblical. It is not biblical. And that's going to be proven today. That's going to be proven today. As opposed to what he's doing, sitting there just babbling and not really giving any relevant information. Any information. I mean, you got all that time. It shouldn't take an hour and a half for me to learn anything. Teach instead of running your mouth. Anyway, he says... According to his doctrine, you need to be standing outside in the streets to teach the word of God. Let's see what the Bible says about that. Isaiah 42 and 1. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Again, he shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. So where do you fools come from with this doctrine that men have to be out there getting spit on? And don't get it twisted, no one has ever spit on me. No one ever spit on me when I was out there. That'll be the day. Anyway, back to the point. This guy's trying to push this doctrine and it's clearly not biblical. As I just showed you in Isaiah the 42nd chapter. But some fools out there will try to, well not fools, some con artists out there will try to say, well, Who's the elect and how do you know who the elect is? Well, we'll see who the elect is according to the Bible. Same book. Don't have to jump around all over the place. You just read on from Isaiah 42 right here in the 45th chapter. It tells you who the elect is according to scripture. Isaiah 45 and 4. For Jacob, my servant's sake, 
in Israel, mine elect. I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. So the proof is there. Isaiah 45 and 4. Now we know who the elect is. That's talking about Israel. And what does the Lord say about his elect? You say they should be on the streets? Well, let's hear what the word of God says. Isaiah 42 and 2. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. What that means is, you're not supposed to be going out there starting large, uh, starting obnoxious, loud arguments with people in the street. Or you might say, okay, we don't argue. We're just, we're just, uh, we're just preaching. No, no, no. Examine that scripture. That's what I advise everyone to do. All you viewers, examine that scripture carefully and see what it says for yourself. Do some research. Don't listen to fools like this in a thriller jacket. Come on, man. 2015. Be real. Still pushing that old washed up doctrine. Come on, man. What's going on? What's really going on? Everybody can get it. Anybody can get it, man. I mean, it's... I know this because, see, the reason I definitely got on him, the reason I got on him is because I noticed you mentioned people that have spoken out against GMS. You mentioned like two people, one of which who just started making videos against GMS, what, a couple of weeks, a few weeks ago? And really only because GMS got at him. And no disrespect to that, brother, but, you know, he's, he's still young. You know, he, you know, he's young. Not to take anything away from him, but that's what it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm not being caught. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm talking about Sakari because I already know, you know, and I'm not trying to disrespect the brother. That's why I, didn't, I wasn't saying his name initially, but I know you fools out there. Oh, why are you ain't naming names? Yeah, I'm talking about Sakari. He's one of the brothers that, you know, just recently uh, became a GMS killer, basically. To put it mildly, <laughs> you know? But now, you forgot about Bakwash. You forgot about IUIC. You forgot about Zabak. You forgot about a, a multitude of people who have destroyed GMS in the past. You mentioned who? ISUPK? I mean, really? And the young brother, uh, Gorilla Hebrew? I mean, come on, man. So that lets me know that you're full of it. And oh, let's let's name a couple, another couple of names that are doing it, that were doing it. Or are still doing it. Uh, the one called uh, King Jacob. He was making videos long, long ago about GMS. Saying that their doctrine is off. Getting all types of... Dealing with all types of BS on YouTube. People threatening his personal safety and whatnot. You got other young brothers that are doing it. Destroying GMS. Like the brother, uh, the Dragon Slayer. You act like you... See, my, that's my problem with dudes like you, man. You're fake. You're fake. You're 100% fake. You're all about money, man. You're all about money. Well, I'm about bringing it back to the neighborhood. They already... We're already dealing with uh, being overly taxed for everything. And then you got Negroes like you trying to get in their pockets even further with your false doctrine. It's not rocking. Talking about you gotta be in the street. Nah, man. Nah, man. Don't waste your life being out there on the corners working under fools like this in a thriller jacket. Nah, I'm telling you straight, di straight, direct, straight up. Don't fall for this game, man. Make your money, tend to your family, buy your houses, do what you have to do. The Bible speaks on that. Oh, yeah, and the Bible even has uh, financial advice in the book of Ecclesiastes. Okay? The 11th chapter, if you want to go further into it, do some real good, uh, deep examination into that. But then you have men like this that try to put you in that, in that spell. Oh, you got to be on the corners with this. You got to be standing outside getting, like, uh, 
the dude from GMS San Fran, like that fool. Talking about we get spit on, as you saw earlier in the video. Or we get spit on, but it's because we're doing a good thing. Are you kidding me? So that's how you prove your loyalty to God? By standing on the corner and preaching something that you can't even prove? What's good with that, man? But you up here trying to sell some tickets. Trying to hype yourself up. All you need is me and Gene Oakland sitting next to you. And Jason Stokes breathing into the camera. <laughs> Let me tell you, brother. Let me say something, brother. You know what, brother? You know what, man? You know what? That's all you need, man. You dudes are, you dudes are all a joke. I'm tired of you dudes. Bunch of fools, man. Shalom.